Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles! Oh, and it's ground zero with an elbow drop off the top turnbuckle! <laughs> Vincent Price and Mutual of Omaha present Wild Kingdom! Break it down! Degenerate into... Hit the... Okay, Mr. Dracula, I want you to open wide and say, ah. Everyone knows to dial 911 in case of emergency. Everyone knows that a 911 operator on the other end will dispatch police, fire, and medical personnel to rescue you. Well, unless you're black. Few, however, know what happens to the strange calls. Calls of a supernatural nature. Like this one. Phone home. <laughs> These calls are referred to a covert agency known as TRACKS. Rift TRACKS. TRACKS is an acronym for Trace, Research, Analyze, and Exterminate. We were going to call it the League Against Beasts Infiltrating America, but the downside to that was the acronym was LABIA. ...investigate mysterious events of which the general public has no knowledge. From this point on, you will deal with the TRACKS interface computer. I will turn you over to it now. Back up. Welcome to Tracks Interface. You can think of me as a digital ghost. I'll think of you as Cortana's ugly sister. Tracks officers you will deploy. I will offer you options for deployment. But as stated by the Tracks charter, you, a living, non-tainted human, must make the decision. Oh, believe me, I got a taint for you. Your options on the screen, like this. As the decision becomes more urgent, the colors will shift from green to yellow to red. If you do not select an option in time, the officer will select his own. I do not recommend this. Trax doesn't exactly hire college graduates, if you know what I'm saying. And please stand by for the next 911 referral. Oh man, Terra Trax is giving us all blood tests to make sure we're untainted, but how am I supposed to pee in something this small? Well, how you doing, partner? The name's Graves, and I guess you and I are going to be working together tonight. Which, of course, means that uh, you get all the thrills while I take all the risks. Hey, wait a minute. Well, Agent Steak was Malibu audience. the whole time. First off, you got your basic crucifix. It's garlic. Which is most excellent for dispatching <laughs> fang jobs, and hairballs, and fighting. Don't use the Star of David. The Jew God is bogus. Except you got salt. For rotters and various other undead, and of course... Tastes great on fries. Your holy water. Don't leave home without it. The one time I loaded holy water in a super soaker, that was so triumphant. Now I'm locked and loaded with 45 caliber silver specials. The idea behind these beauties is that they will get you dead. Even if you've already been that way. And, uh... Rub them on my gooch. Put all kinds of nasty business in these hollow points. And you've got to look back. Dear God, my retinas! <laughs> uh, let me see, what other cool stuff can I show you? <sighs> These babies are my heads up shades. I got them at Sunglass Hut, they're Oakley's dude. You got radio, seed, cam, and mic. Ooh, and it even goes ping, I'm sold. Did you hear what I hear? See what I see? They got autofocus and eye track and spectral enhancers so you can see the things that go bump in the night. Yeah, and it's got a digital camera too, but it's only like 1.2 megapixels, which kind of eats, but you know. That's a little beauty here. It monitors my heart rate, stress level and temperature, and a bunch of other stuff that we don't even need to go. Officer One, uh, stand by. Uh, Looks like we got some incoming, so heads up. And remember one thing, pal. The life you're risking is mine. What? Sorry, I wasn't listening. I was looking for the suicide button. 911, what is your emergency? All units, we have a domestic in progress. Proceed to Chris Brown's house. I'm here to help. Terror Tracks, the game of incoherent yelling and annoying sound effects. Tracks, use of word vampire indicates possible extraordinary circumstances. Please advise. I accept mission. I decline use of definite articles. Dispatch operative to location, or B, reanalyze phone call. Are you ready? 911, what is your emergency? Help me! 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 Help me
I'm easier. No, uh, yeah, man, I've tried that one. Really, baby, I swear I didn't know she was a hooker. The blood is mine. Angelina, give Billy Bob his blood back. Blood oath is an oath that all vampires take never to reveal the existence of vampires. It transcends personal animosities. Phone call terminated. They also take an oath only to play baseball during thunderstorms. Officer at the apartment of Vivian Kloss. Prepare for broadcast. All right, Trex, I'm stepping off the elevator, and I'm making entry. Now we got a dark apartment, and I got a bad feeling about this place. It's even worse than I thought. All this furniture is just so tacky and cheap. Who the hell are you? Hold on a second. Out of He's got a stranger in my way, sir. Officer. Officer. Uh, I'm okay, Trax. I dodged that damn needle. The bastard ran right through that sliding glass door over there. Oh, man, that boy must be dumber than I thought. Yeah, you'd have to be stupid to mess with a guy as badass as me. I mean, I could have taken him, but you saw it. He got me by surprise. Watch your broken glass up top. And down on the bottom. You can cancel the search for the missing glass, Trax. I found it. Repeat, I found it. Man, that must be a three-story drop, Trax. Why don't you send out a... Corner now, check that. Send the garbage collector with a hefty bag and a spatula. Wait a second, there's, there's no body down there, Trax. Should I go outside and look for him or stay here and check out the apartment? Why is he so surprised that guy survived the fall? He kills vampires for a living. All right, Trax, I'm gonna motor outside the apartment and see what we can see here. All right, I'm directly below the window on the parking garage driveway. Plenty of broken glass, but no road pizza. Wait, broken glass? I think we may be close to finding the track of the vampire. Here are your options. Hey, wait, at what point did I miss the option to use my crucifix or my garlic or my handgun? Officer Graves has acquired Dr. Hemos and is following him. I will patch you into him now. Alright, Hemos is ahead of me and he doesn't have a clue that he's being followed. He drives pretty well for a vamp on Bloodlust. Alright, let me get a lock on. Now, you must admit his tailing technique is flawless. What with him cleverly hiding behind the no other cars on the road? Six, six. Look at figures. The vehicle is registered to Dr. Fetus Hemos. Home to our files. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Hemos. It's a boy. What are you going to call him? Oh, I don't know. How about Fetus? Fetus Hemos. You are authorized to track and observe Hemos. But do not take violent action against him. Gee, how'd I know she was gonna say that? I hope this does not prove too great a disappointment to Officer Graves. Nah. And like all cops, I just love seeing killers go free. Frankly, Trax, if I'm not gonna bag him, I'd be better off searching that apartment and finding out what crime he just got away with. Trax Command. We have received another 911 call. Oh, come on, I gotta take this one too? What, did everyone else call in sick this weekend? And I will patch you across. I will put another Trax officer on standby to receive your orders. We will rejoin Officer Graves at the next opportunity. The following emergency call was forwarded to us from 911. Really? Because I thought it was forwarded to us from the Butterball Turkey hotline. Second tracks officer. I will monitor Officer Graves and break in when appropriate. Yeah, 911, what's your emergency? Now, this isn't paranormal activity. My mom made this call two, three times a week. Hold your eyes out? Well, that guy's got some optic nerve. Uh, Ma'am, listen, help is on the way. Please keep talking. Uh, okay, ma'am. Trax, I'm referring this call to you. We accept case. I'm also dispatching paramedics and police. Our officer will vacate scene before they arrive. So wait, Trax has better response time than the paramedics? Hi. My name is Allison Walken and I'll be your guide for this evening of death and destruction. I understand that you're our new Trax commander. Well, we go through Trax commanders like whales go through plankton. 
Anyway, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. I am not like Graves. I am not a psycho. I might find that a little easier to believe if she wasn't currently giving that gun a hand job. Right now, would I? But the deal is, I want to know who I'm killing before I kill them. That's why I got kicked out of the Air Force. That's the difference between me and Graves. Anyway, the next time I see you, I'll be at the crime scene. I am patching in Officer Graves. We will return to Officer Walken when she arrives at the home of Nicole Novak. All right, I'm stepping off the elevator. Well, Officer Wannabe, why don't you go get it done, pal? Hey, fuck you, Malibu! Yeah, it's really dark in here, but I refuse to turn on the light switch. That would be cheating. Oh, dear God, Trax, forget the vampire. This furniture is the real terror. Where did she get this stuff, Big Lots? Nothing of any... Wait a minute. We got a cold one on the floor over there. Looks to be like a female in her late 20s. Beautiful. Once was, anyways. Better call in the meat wagon, Trax. Tell them we got another 1082 on our hands. Looks like that damn Ben Affleck's done it again. Check for fangs. This is the part of my job I absolutely love. Oh, PMS, am I right, fellas? Huh? Ah, oh, even though I'm a professional vampire slayer, this attack caught me completely off guard! Oh. Checking heartbreak. I'm okay, Trax. I don't know how, but... Uh, I'm alive. She could have killed me, but she didn't. Must have been my charming good looks. But why did she attack me anyway? I mean, I was just trying to help her, and this is the fangs I get? Thank you! Oh, looks like we had a romantic night in progress. What a couple of saps. <laughs> Giving a girl flowers and having a romantic dinner. That is so gay. Now, what do we hear? A doctor's bag. Let's take a peekaboo inside. Blood bags. I didn't know the hospital made house calls. You'd think those would be convenient, but I could never get my straw in those little juice bags. Here's and scalpels, man, all the usual fang job party favors. The usual party favors? Are vampires that well known for carrying around scalpels? Prescription bags. Dr. Petus Hemos. Select option now. You may ask yourself why he became a specialist in hematology. Well, he originally wanted to be a dancer, but when your name is Vetus Hemos, some choices are just made for you. It's why I changed my name. My parents kind of wanted me to be a proctologist. That's why they named me Jimmy O'Buttocks. Hold on a second, I hear something. Nah, it's just a sizzling ciggy. What? <laughs> Never met an undead who didn't puff. Okay, a cigarette wouldn't make that kind of sizzling noise if it was made of bacon. Alright, I'm searching a purse. Mmm, bacon cigarette. Yeah, big book here. Check today's entry. <laughs> oh man, this chick sure had a lot of days. Different guy every single night. What a tramp. Yeah. Please ignore sexist attitude of officer. Let's see what we got in the goodie bag here, your usual bag of tricks. Yeah, let's see. Condoms, lube, anal beads, D-cell batteries. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, there's a paycheck from the late date dating service. I get it. She was scamming losers who can't get real dates. Same kind of losers who watch Let's Plays instead of meeting girls. Work the swing shift? My love life used to do the graveyard shift. Can't date until real late. I thought it was too late for me. Handsome Tom! Late date. Call late date. And find the right mate. Call late date. The later, the better. 1 800 L A T D A T E. And that, my friends, is how I met my girlfriend. <laughs> she was the nurse at the free clinic I had to go to after I went to late date. Okay, tracks with the late date corporate headquarters. <laughs> what an ashtray. Businesses crawl off and die in places like this. Like this game has. All right, you want me to check it out, or you want me to head in there and do some business before they get wise to me? Ladies and gentlemen, the director's house. Not the choice I would have made, but maybe you know what you're doing. Oh my god, it never ends. Just look at this cheap door, would you? All right, let's go inside. Hi, I'm Carnoia. Welcome to Late Date. For a great date, we accept cash only. Now let me ask you a few little questions. Oh, wow. Oh, sorry, ma'am, but this is how it works. Oh, crap. Where's the button to keep looking down her blouse? Where? What do you know about Vivian Cross? Now keep on answering until I tell you I'm not interested anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think I could do that. Well, then get me somebody who isn't brain dead. Oh, dear. We could be here a while. Dr. Hemos. You know who this is? He's a tracks officer. Get him. Hold it, pal. So that crucifix and the garlic and the holy water, he just had none of that ready, huh? Okay. Officer 1, 
dead. The lesson there, Agent Snake fights like a girl. Okay, Drax, I'm walking around the building. The place is lit up like a Christmas tree from hell. Because when they celebrate Christmas in hell, they decorate their trees with whores. Babe on the phone. Blowing smoke at some rube was too cheap to pay for a house call. <laughs> like live webcam sex shows. You ever do one of those? Oh, they're great. You log in and there's this really hot chick there. And then you can type stuff into the chat window and then she'll do it. And if you pay extra for the premium membership, sometimes there's more than one chick there. And then you type stuff in and then they'll do lesbian shit to each other. Oh, it's so awesome. You should really try it out. Oh, um, oh anyway, there's stuff going on. Hang on. I see it. No, I see a shadow. No, wait a minute. There's two shadows. Looks like a... Could be a couple of females. Oh, oh, start the recorder. Start the recorder. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of funny business going on in there. Let's get the surveillance vision out and uh, see what we can see. Hold on. Uh, nothing. I must be getting spooked. Let's, let's dial this in real quick. A surveillance camera? Torgo tracks. Track of the peeper. <laughs> Oh, he going. Hey, Trax, that's, uh, he's getting close. Something too is hard about, and I can't resist anymore, so I go for his check him up, but it's dry. And then he starts getting freaked out on me, screaming at me about breaking the blood oath, whatever that is. And I said, hey, listen, if you're one of us, I didn't know it, but he just lost it. I don't know how you make a story about vampire hookers boring, but they pulled it off. And you called 911 at that point? Well, yeah, what else could I do? I mean, I would be chilling in some dumpster right now if I had to. Ah, crap. This time of night, all the bars are closed. <laughs> Impudent American bastards! <laughs> Chef Ramsay when he gets off work. Those stupid donkeys! Help me to snag him before he gets in there. You're under arrest! What is the meaning of this? I have done nothing! What, now is he German? Or is he trying a different accent in every scene? Shut your pie hole and suck fish now! Officer, please, there must be some mistake. I have... Oh, come on! Dude! Graves, you suck! Snake! Vital sign. Snake! Terminated. Snake! Tracks last chance. Hey, jerkweed! Up against the wall, you're under arrest. What's the problem, officer? If you try anything funny, I'll turn you into a torch. There dog. must be someone mistake. I haven't done anything. I have no criminal record. Please! And now my accent's totally different. What's going on out here? Hey, that's the guy I tried to charm. Oh, oh. oh, oh. 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 If only I had some kind of weapon. Oh, oh you fiends! Oh, stop breathing under my glasses! You're fogging up the lenses! Officer One Heartbeat has stopped. Well, it's not my fault! Officer One, yes. dead. I'm kinda glad he's dead. He's trying to bug me anyway. <laughs> that does not negate the fact you owe me a refund. Oh, we don't owe you anything. What's the big idea trying to rip a fellow vamp? You should know better. I dislike the tawdry manner in which you operate in this country. What did she think she was doing, calling 911? Okay, I'm seriously having flashbacks to Manos the Hands of Fate at this point. We have only been undead for a month. That is no excuse! Hey, it's 1990, not 1890. The Blood Oath is history. When we're finished slurping, let's just trash this place. But Manos loves women! She will grow up to be a woman! It's not easy to get a refund from a prostitute, and believe me, I know. Uh, that's why I never pay him in advance. And uh, I guess while I'm on the topic, it's never a good idea to ask to see the prostitute's supervisor to get that refund. Hi, I'm Karenoya. Welcome to Late Date, sir. For a great date, we accept cash only. Um, excuse me, sir, you can't go in there. Move, bitch! Get out the way! That's the guy from the apartment! You should know that gun is useless against us! Don't play dumb with me, pal. You know who I am and where I'm from. Only question is if you're going with me dead or undead. Oh, unless I'm quite mistaken, you don't have any victims, and you don't have a case. Tonight on Law & Order, Special Vampires Unit. Taking you to the lab. Fuck it, get him! They're attacking Trax! Oh, the camera! Freeze, pal! Real as vampires spontaneously combust by vague, poorly explained means. Well, Trax, late date is out of business. This case is closed. Big time. Not quite, Officer Graves. Please pursue Dr. Hemos. When fangs are present, he is in a dangerous state of bloodlust. Please do not terminate him until I grant official authorization. 